Hello, I'm David Eagle from The Young'uns, and welcome to the first Young'uns podcast of 2016. I know, I said I'd be back in April, didn't I, Woods? I've been busy. I've embarked on a crazy project to do a blog slash podcast every single day, and I would say thank you very much for the support, but there are hundreds of people who listen to that, and thousands of you, so thank you very much. You know, I'm starting to think that I'm not as popular as Michael Hughes and Sean Cooney. I mean, now that's ridiculous. Yeah, thousands of you people out there listening to this, but there's only a few hundred who listen to the blogs. What's all that about, eh? But anyway, let's not have an argument, shall we? You know, it's the first time we've come together on the podcast in 2016. Well, let's not dampen the mood. So, in the background, you can hear the sounds of an expectant crowd awaiting the first ever Young'uns podcast of 2016, which is taking place at Fork East Festival in Suffolk, featuring guests or Julian Tido, performed alongside Billy Bragg, performed live on BBC Six Music, five-star reviews in The Guardian for their live performances, and a five-star Guardian review for their latest album as well, nominated for Best Duo in the BBC Radio 2 Folk Awards, collaborated with Grace Petrie, the political comedy songwriter. We've got John Spires, one of the members of Bellowhead, and also one half of the duo with John Borden, Spires and Borden. And we also have Sam Kelly, winner of this year's Horizon Award at the BBC Radio 2 Folk Awards. We've got music from them, lots of chat as well. Basically, there are plenty of places where you can hear more about their art, find out what their inspirations are, etc, etc. This is just a group of friends hanging out. Music, chat, games, all sorts of weird stuff over the next 50 minutes. So here we go. The first Young'uns podcast of 2016, live at the Folk East Festival. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. So welcome. This is the uh, the Youngins podcast live from Fork East in Suffolk. Now, now you see how professional that is. We when we did Spring Watch, the the audience had to go through what was called an, a practice beforehand, and they had to spend five minutes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to say welcome to Spring Watch live from Suffolk, and then you've got to applaud. So shall we practice that? And they made them practice it. Didn't have to do any of that, just said live in Fork East, and you knew what to do straight away. Absolutely brilliant. And you even know when to laugh as well. Brilliant audience. What a brilliant audience you are. So, it's not just me talking to Nan Lee for an hour. I'll be doing that for about 20 minutes. Um, we also have some brilliant guests with me. Uh, Sean Cooney and Michael Hughes from the Youngins. Oh, we've, we've, Hello. we've pulled out all the scopes tonight. Uh, also, we have Mr. John Spires. Put your tongues on the sofa, John. Uh, as they do on these chat shows. Yeah. For listeners at home, John has now joined us on the sofa. It's the kind of exciting stuff that you don't get if you don't actually get off your backsides and come and see live gigs. There you go. Um, so, uh, that's John Spice. Hello, John. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, very well, thank you very much. Uh, so, there you go, brilliant interview there. How are you doing? How's it how are you? There you go, it's easy this, isn't it? I don't know what Graham Norton makes such a... Why does he get so much money for doing this? Jonathan Ross, what on earth? Right, we've done that. We found out who John Spires is, everybody. Remember that? Okay. Let's find out who Belinda and Heidi are, ladies and gentlemen, or Huli and Tino! Excellent. So if I ask you how you are, do you answer as a collective or individually? How does it work? Yes. 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 So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a chat. Uh, we're also going to uh, play some songs and do some tunes as well. And then we have a few little interesting uh, features up our sleeves as well. I think we have a game of Jenga to play at some point. We also have today a tease made. Now the reason for this is because we have a, we have a feature on our podcast which is called Herbal Tea of the Week. Which basically comes from the fact that we drink a lot of, you know, we do drink a lot of beer and stuff on, on gigs and things like that. But now we've started doing this professionally, you can't drink a beer every single gig. So we've got to kind of have a, another tipple of choice, which is a herbal tea. So we've been reviewing various herbal teas. Now the feature is called Herbal Tea of the Week, but the last time we did a podcast was eight months ago. And the last time we did Herbal Tea of the Week was in November, so we haven't even done... So it's one of those misnomer feature titles. We have a little bit of a jingle for it, which uh, I will attempt to sing you at some point. But before that, let's welcome our tease mate today, who is Mr. Sam Kelly. The floor tease mate.
Now, you've got a, a bit of a challenge for you, because we do have a tea, but we realised right at the last minute that it is a loose leaf tea, uh, and we don't have a tea screener. Uh, so, we're looking for something porous. Um, Did uh, anyone bring a tea screener? Anyone bring a sieve, by any chance? No. Well, oh, you were all quite middle class down here, where are you? Yeah, we thought someone would have like a fold away portable sieve or something that they keep in their handbags. But no. Pair of tights. Yeah, oh, tights. Pair, pair of tights. tights we could always use. So Sam, I think your first mission as tea's made is either to try and find some straining implements or to go to vintage tea and find the most unusual tea that you can find. Right, on it. Can you do that? Yeah. Have you got money? What am I saying? He's a fox singer. Of course he has. Go on, here you go. Right. <laughs> In the meantime, let's have a song. Who should start first? Shall we have a little tune from uh, John Spires? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Excellent. Okay. What are you going to play for us first? Uh, the Melodian. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Good script writer he's got. Yeah, thank you. Uh, um, I was just thinking if you could actually strain tea with a Melodian. It's got holes in. Uh, there's got a grill on the front that's got holes in, so I think we could try that. That'll be a good feature. We'll try that a bit later on. Yeah. Folk, folk tea straining. Um, I'll play you a tune called The Ironing Board Hornpipe and William Irwin's Hornpipe.
ça. Jones Byers, the ironing board hornpipe. And that was an exclusive. He's never played that before. Hot off the press. Uh, and the audience are creasing themselves with the ironing board jokes. Uh, so, it's called the ironing board hornpipe, you said, didn't you? Uh, yeah, it is yeah. called the ironing board hornpipe. Why? Yeah. Any ideas why? Well, why are any tunes called anything, really? Well, have you got a, is it, was this made by you or is this by someone else? Yeah, it's a tune I wrote, the ironing board hornpipe. And did you, uh, was it inspired while you were ironing or anything like that? No, it was inspired when I realised I hadn't ironed for a very long time. My daughter, when she was quite young, about four years old, came into the room as I was actually trying to iron her first school uniform. And uh, so I thought this would be a special thing to do on, on the first day at school, to actually iron the clothes, because that's never going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> And I got the ironing board out and had the iron on it ready to warm up. And the first thing she did when she came in, into the room was just go, Oh, what's that, Daddy? <laughs> She'd never, ever seen any ironing stuff ever in her life. <laughs> and so that's when I realised I should probably iron more often. And I named the tune that in order to try and remind myself to iron slightly more often. I don't think we have an ironing board now. But, um... <laughs> so, Belinda and Heidi, do you have any uh, songs about ironing boards? Are you going off piste here? Oh, actually, we haven't, have we, Hyde? Not oh. yet. Oh, yeah, Belinda's a very good ironer. Yes, I am. But I do that in my spare time. So if you want to bring your washing over to ours, John. Yeah, yeah. Is that like a hobby? It is a hobby, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like doing it. But the other thing is, there are some keyboard players that use ironing boards instead of keyboard stands. So I'm thinking maybe I might change. Careers. <laughs> Careers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, it'll be really good, because then you could, while you're in the middle of waiting for the gig to start, then you could do some ironing. You wouldn't have to worry about bringing the ironing board. It would just fit in the van absolutely perfectly. Absolutely. So. And there's nothing like a nicely ironed pair of underpants, is there? Well, it's Let's funny you should it. say that. Michael Hughes, bend over, my friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good feature. Who's got the best iron boxer shorts, everybody? Uh, I think your boxer shorts are very good, Heidi. But anyway. They're gorgeous. Excellent. We should, we should have a song before we find out how Sam is doing as tease mates and then maybe start a little bit as we, uh, as we build the first block on the, on the Jenga. So much to look forward to, people. Uh, but first, I suppose we better have some music before we do the exciting Jenga thing. Go on then. What shall we have, Belinda and Hardy? What right, we we're going to sing you a song called Made in England. Oh, I'm, yes. I'm just going to go over to my ironing board. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> and we wrote it after the rise of the BNP and UKIP as well. And they were coming round to our house, putting flyers through the letterbox quite a lot, all about the sort of suspicion of all the incomers that were coming into Britain and, and uh, how we, we should all vote for the BNP. And the same people were going down the road to our local curry house and enjoying a <laughs> guzzling a curry and uh, slurping down the European lager. And we thought, well, we must write a song about that. So this is called Made in England. Made in England, 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 made in England, England. A song for you and everyone that's in happy dear old Albion. A coastal waters heave and ho as waves of travellers come and go. Who decide to get the right, the ballad of Britain? begins tonight Turning left on the horn and leads Children spilling across the streets Football chanting undulates Searching for Anglo-Saxon ways White admirals won't amalgamate The cora and pint Ironically great With me Ruby Murray Shop, head to toe in Prada Mark. I'm made in England, England, England. Made in England, England. I'm made in England, England, England. Made in England, England. To Trinidad by a Notting Hill. Mosley's henchmen fearing still. Jerk and join, accuse and point. The bottom rung we must exploit. Whilst weary workers worn out by debt Don't know who to vote for next From Rumi via Bangladesh The hunger for cheap 
never rest Round the plaza, round boring surfs Foreigners are thieves and curves I'll them high and sell them cheap The gentle sigh as foundations reek With me, Ruby, Murray, Kebab in a hurry Fax and becks from the corner shop Head to toe in Prada Begins tonight. Spare chaps? Yeah, Lovely harmonies. Thank Lovely you. Harmonies. Is this on? Oh, it's always on. If you're going to compliment us, the microphones are always on. Yeah. <laughs> so, what happens in terms of the songwriting? Because obviously, you two uh, are married, so you're, you're spending a lot of time together. <laughs> so, my quite point, a lot. My point being that do you discuss the songs, or is there a, a prime songwriter of the group, or how does the whole thing work? You weren't expecting that. I asked John Spies a flippant thing about ironing boards. And with you, I can probably dig. There's just no knowing the way I'm going to go. We're going to play Jenga in 30 seconds. Come on. Yes, um, well, we, we, we write everything together, really. What tends to happen is um, after breakfast, um, Belinda plays the piano. And then when I'm upstairs doing something else, like working or something, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I tend to listen to Belinda playing piano and hear the melody and then get a song idea and then come running down the steps. Say, oh, this, would be a, this might be a good song. And then uh, we might have heard something on the radio or someone's told us a story or something we've seen on the telly uh, that inspires us uh, or people put in BNP leaflets through the letterbox. Um, and then we make like a little note about it and stick it away. And then when the time comes, we, we get down to writing some lyrics, stick a melody on and go from there. But do you find yourselves always kind of having it in that frame of mind? So you're watching something on the TV and you say, oh, yeah. pause that, we can write a song about that. And you actually never get the programme watched. How does, I mean, how, how often are you having these ideas? I really hope that it's not like that. Because uh, obviously we just love to relax and watch television and, uh, yeah. and stuff like that. But iron. And ironing yeah. and that kind of thing. But just sometimes when you're, you know, when you're watching something and you're inspired and you might... Just make a bit of a mental note about it. It might be a year later, two years later, that you start chatting about it. And so a, and do you have like together. lists of stuff written down that you then just consult again? Like massive like books of just ideas? Are you trying to steal our ideas? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He is! Yeah, well, we don't have a dream set up. You know, the three of us don't live in a house and we don't just creep down the stairs. Oh, he's an idea for a song, Sean. Oh, right, because I thought you lived together. It certainly, it certainly I think, feels I think that. everybody yeah. thinks you lived together. The young ones did, didn't they? So. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's how you get in. <laughs> <laughs> My whole uh, life sometimes feels like an episode of Rainbow. <laughs> who would be who in, in Rainbow, do you think? I think you'd be Bungle. Do a, 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 right, let's have a rainbow off. 
Who can do the best impression? Which one we got? So the one, who was the one who was like, was it Zippy? It was uh, Zippy. Uh, uh, Zippy from, from Rambo. Is that how he sounds? I think you can do a better Zippy than that. Bernard Mangan? No, you, that's not. No, no you, you, have we got Mr. Kennedy? I'm frightened. I'm a bit of Zippy. Oh, no, you, oh, you're on, Carrie. I sound like Mark Radcliffe. Oh, right? Cliff, uh, 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 you're on. Hey, uh, Zippy. <laughs> I thought I could do George, but it sounds more like Alan Bennett when I try and do it. It does really, yeah. Oh no, that would be good. Alan Bennett reads from the, like, does a rainbow monologue. He just reads from the... Excellent. John Spires, can you do a rainbow character? Um, I could do... That Jeff was brilliant. That was, that was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> right, Denver. I, I could do Jeffrey's brother. Um, oh, right. Extended brother. Yeah. He's like, a bit like this. Hello. <laughs> It was only in one episode. <laughs> All right, come your season two. Let's welcome back our tease maid, Sam Kelly, our dog's body. <laughs> so, Sam, have you uh, have you ex explained your mission? What happens? Well, I couldn't find a strainer. Yeah. So, I compromised by just giving you a completely different type of tea. So, what have we got then? Uh, you've got lemon green tea, which... Uh, lemon green tea? It's not a massively interesting yeah, one, is it really? Yeah, and, uh, it's, yeah. uh, you better have a good yeah, rainbow twinings. impression of your sleeves, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I've also brought you some nice uh, little cupcakes as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, that's really nice. So, your job then, uh, Sam, is to... Uh, Would well, you oh, like yeah, yeah, Paul? Paul. Oh, excellent. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that's a good, good point. <laughs> See, I forget, when we do the podcast normally, we don't have, like, hundreds of people in the audience watching us do this, so... Uh, and we can edit, whereas now you're just listening to someone pouring some tea. <laughs> it looks like we. Excellent. <laughs> well, we get Sam in for the erudition. Excellent. So while we, and then when you've done that, Sam, you can actually set up the Jenga for us. You can set it up on the on the uh, stomp box. It's got a microphone underneath. That could be quite spectacular. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and then maybe we could uh, we could try uh, a little bit of a, a drinking game, perhaps. Uh, I know with herbal tea. <laughs> with herbal tea, yeah. Oh yeah, isn't there? A, there's a line in one of your songs which is it's all very cleverly put together. Which is like hot tea on a cold morning. One of your latest oh yes, in, on the new album, yeah, yeah. Um, Catherine Williams wrote a song for our wedding, oh, and yeah. she performed it on our wedding day, which was lovely. And one of the the lines is, "Hot tea on cold mornings, warm bed at the dawning, hopeless to get out of bed." And that was about me and Heidi, because we can't get out of bed until we've had a brew. Typical musicians, really. Yeah. I think that's brilliant because then you made your laziness work by then going, "We'll write a song about this." All right, it's all about the fact that we can't be asked. There you go. That's but we didn't even write it, David. No. We've got someone oh, yeah, else to write actually. it. Yeah, you got someone else to write it. He's really lazy. <laughs> we'll just stay in bed. You write the song for us, Catherine. Excellent. It's not even you singing on the album, is it? It's John putting on a high voice. He's so good at impressions. <laughs> Hello. Um, I was just wondering if if you can't get out of bed until someone you've had a cup of tea, have you got a per another person in the house that just makes the tea for you? It's, it, it's, it's, it's Sam Kelly. It's Sam Kelly, does it? <laughs> That's well, we, we didn't want to tell everybody, but He's yeah. been headhunted. Sam Kelly lives with us, yeah. <laughs> oh, young man. He's a lovely young man. He is. <laughs> we're going to, uh, we're going to have the tea, uh, but before we take a drink of the tea, I think we should have the jingle. It's going to be a little bit embarrassing, because uh, I'm going to probably have to sing it by myself unaccompanied, but... Uh, who's a piano? Oh, shall I use the piano? Yeah. Here we are. Here we go. Watch out for the accordion. Yeah. Should we give him a round of applause, David Eagle? Here he is. Yay! Hey! You give me a round of applause for walking, thank you. For patronising me. A round of applause for blind man managing to find the piano. Oh, look! Oh, look! That's exactly what I meant, yeah. So this is uh, the Herbal Tea of the Week jingle. Now, I haven't played it for ten months, so right here it goes. Some folks like plain tea, others like tea herbally But this is the feature that reviews herbal tea verbally We'll give it a smell, we'll give it a drink And then we will tell you what we think Herbal tea is the subject on which we will speak In our exciting feature Herbal tea of the week In our exciting feature Everybody! Herbal tea of the week Yeah. 
for, uh, for all the people who, who came along here by mistake thinking it was a normal young'uns gig, that's the, <laughs> the nearest you're going to get. <laughs> that's the nearest you get to a young'uns song. Excellent. When it comes to tea in general, what kind of teas are people a fan of? Is it a normal tea? Or are you, have we got herbal aficionados here among us? I like builder's tea, so nice and strong. Good splash of milk, no sugar. I quite like a chamomile tea on, of an evening. Uh, herbal teas, I grow my own peppermint tea and I do like that. That's, oh. that's lovely. Is that, what, yeah. is that what you tell the police when they come round? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. Well, Lindy, you're not the We've presenter. Heard. I mean, normally what we do is, we, we, as we say, we give it a smell, we give it a drink, and then we will tell you what we think. But it's lemon green tea, it's not massively interesting, so... Let's quickly do this. Uh, smell, how does it smell? Lemony. Like Lemony, excellent. And how does it taste? Lemony. Brilliant feature, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll take it the week. Thank you very much. Okay, let's, uh, let's start the game of Jenga then, shall we? Oh, no, let's do a drinking game. We're going to do a drinking game. Right, okay. So this is a Geordie drinking game, a modification of an Australian drinking game called Gerai Bob. Um, only it's called Ari Pet. So what we're going to do is, it'll be a competition essentially. Sam? Yes? You can do this as well. It's going to be a, a competition between the four of you, Sam Kelly, John Spires and Belinda and Heidi. We will be in it as well, but just to keep the thing flowing, but we're not, we're not actually part of it. We're like in the, the cycling thing, where they just have the people cycling behind. They're not, we're not actually going to win it, we're just keeping the thing going. So, okay. So that's what we're going to do right now. So what we do is we go, Ari Pet! Ari Pet! Say Ari to Pet Pet! Ari Pet! Ari Pet! Say Ari to Pet Pet! Ari Pet! I've got a massive hangover. <laughs> a reed pet. A reed pet. Say a reed a pet pet. A reed pet pet. <laughs> a reed pet. I'm glad we uh, established that. Just stick to making the tea, I think, Sam. Um, <laughs> has he got to drink something now? <laughs> oh, so, so have I lost now? Yeah. <laughs> Have some tea. Uh, let's start again, right? right. And so what we're going to do is we'll, we'll, we'll do it. And whoever's left in the game, whoever is, um, who hasn't lost, will be the winner. But brilliant. <laughs> explain the rule. Do you want to explain that again? Whoever hasn't lost is the winner, everybody. All right. So let's start again. All right. So what you do is, it's Ari Pet, Ari Pet, say Ari to Pet Pet. All right. Ari Pet. Ari Pet. Say Ari to Pet Pet. Ari Pet. Ari Pet. Say Ari to Pet Pet. Ari Pet. All right. Mate. <laughs> Say all right to Belinda. <laughs> Sam's already out. I'll eat pet. I'll eat pet. Say I'll eat pet. I'm Scottish. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Keep going. I'll eat pet. I'll eat pet. I'll eat a pet. pet. <laughs> Okay. Ari Pet? Ari Pet. Say Ari Pet. Ari Petit. Oh, my God. Ari Petit. Ari Petit. Well, there you go. Everyone's out. Uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So still to come, a game of Jenga, but first let's have another song. It's another tune from John Spires. Yay! What are you going to do for us this time? The washing machine reel? What's going to happen? I'm going to, I'm going to, um, yeah, go for some, another one I've written, but this is called Red Kites, and it's uh, after the birds, the red kites.
ganz bei jetzt. Yes. Excellent. We shall have a song from Belinda and Heidi in a, in, a, in a minute or two. But we've been building this up for a while now, which, let's face it, is what the whole point of Jenga is, essentially. Um, we're going to play a game of Jenga, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Belinda and Heidi, um, yes. are you particularly proficient at Jenga or are you novices? How would you describe mm. your Jenga talents? Um, never played it. Have you not? No, no. I, I've never played it either. I don't My think they have goodness. it in Huddersfield. No, it's not reached Huddersfield yet. What, what do you do? You basically have to, as I, as I understand it, is you pile blocks on top of each other. No, you take blocks out, don't you? Yes. That's not, isn't the point of building Any, it up. Anyone? No, it's the opposite. I don't know what, what, yeah, the joke didn't make sense. I haven't played Jenga at all. Myself. Oh, I see. So yeah, you, take, you, take, you the, take a thing out. You take it out and you have to do it without the entire thing collapsing. Okay. Go on then. And then you put it on the top. Oh, Excellent. thank you. Thank put you for clarifying. Yeah, thanks a lot for that. Yeah. That's our researcher there, ladies and gentlemen, that we have on the podcast. Go for yeah. it. Go for it, Heidi. So you're going to go first, Heidi. Yeah, a bit of commentary, I think. Do you want to read the commentary? So she's taking one, oh, oh. taking one out from middle. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, she wants holding on to it, please. Okay, so that's Heidi's uh, contribution. Uh, uh, Belinda, uh, yes. have a little go at... Uh, I'll see have a go. Let's see how we're doing. <clears throat> it's a bit more exciting than the Olympics, isn't it? There you go. <clears throat> Just flexing my fingers. Yeah. Oh! Oh, no, that was very dramatic. Excellent uh, thing about having the thing mic'd up there. Very good, John. Thank you. Okay, John, your turn now to, uh, to pull one out. Right. Well, uh, first, let's play Jenga. Uh, uh, I've also never really played it. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh. 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 Wow, very nice. It survived. Very and finally... Slick. Oh. <laughs> We've gone from quite rabble-roused uh, like football applause to sort of polite cricket applause now, haven't we? <laughs> Was the thing. Uh, Sam Kelly, finally, uh, have a go. Oh dear. Come on, Bungle. There you go, Sam. Oh dear. Hey, don't Bungle it. Oh, it's Zippy. Oh. 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 Excellent. Amazing. Okay, we'll find out. We'll have to have a winner by the end. But before that, let's have a song from Belinda and Hardy, ladies and gentlemen. Will you give it What are you going to do, Vera? Yes, right, on the uh, drinking theme, we're going to sing you a song now, which is from our booze album. It's our Ode to Real Ale. It's called Summit's Brewing. And we'd love you to all join in on the chorus, yes. which we have uh, reinterpreted from a, a classic folk song called Oh Good Ale, Thou Art My Darling. Shall we have a quick practice? And can we have the young'uns and Sam Kelly and John Spires singing it as well, please? Thank yes, you. Yes, of Oh Good Ale. Thou art my darling, thou art my joy, both night and morning. The slur at the end. Yes, if you can slur the end. Should we try that slur again? Yeah. Oh, good day, thou art my darling, thou art my joy, both night and morning. Oh. Still going. <laughs> Steady on, Spires. Oh. Steady on. It's gorgeous, that. Summit's brewing. Summit's brewing on your Hutcher soil. Outhouse cellar, garage or shed. A band of brewers with local pride. The real revolution spreads. Stir the mash and bring to the boil. And build a taste And a record And a kiss Arouse, arouse Your pint of wit Lounds are come Fill up in a glass With patience And a steady hand Top it up Don't waste a drop Then we can be thankful For good day All together Thou art my darling Dark satanic 
shuttle past Braham and Gross, me artisan dreams up the mix. A blend of two or single hop, pale and poppy on dirty sack, fruity, mellow, tangy, cool. What's with what? The appetite of flavour chasers chug tonight. Long lady fill the glass with banter and a serve quit. Top it up, don't waste a drop. No herbal tea of the week, is it? Uh, <laughs> well, I think we'll uh, we'll have another quick uh, round of Jenga. And then, Sam, do you want to give us a song? Yes. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's start with uh, Heidi again. Right, Heidi. Okay, Heidi. Yeah, go for that one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it survives Brilliant. again. We move to Belinda. <clears throat> Right. A tactical throat clear there. <laughs> oh! Was there a little bit of a wobble there? A Mr. Kenny, our expert summariser. <laughs> oh! Janking this! <laughs> oh! Whoa! Brute force, yeah. that. Amazing. My goodness. Uh, John Spires. Okay. That's a hard act to follow. <laughs> oh! Once you've touched it, do you what? have to commit to that to touch one? It. Should, oh, we do, should we do higher on the... that rule? I thought you'd never played it before. <laughs> oh, well oh. done. So, uh, just really uh, thank you all. With, with Jenga, you can't have a winner, can you? As such. No. Between four people, so it's a bit of a flawed game, this, but we'll come to you in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who the loser is. Exactly, that's more interesting. Go on, okay. Sam, you can do Sam it. Sam Kelly. The person who doesn't knock it over wins. Yeah, but that, that, leaves, that leaves three people. Hey. Well, you Heidi? see, this is an educational podcast. This. We're educating the children there on basic maths. Excellent. This is educational for geese. Are you going to have a go, David? Go on, David. Please. Well, I'm going to knock it. Come on, Lord. Here we go. I'll do the audio description. Right. Eagle for Team GB. So why have people been... Four people, years of hang on, hang on, hang on. Have people been doing it one-handed or two-handed? One-handed. One You're probably best... Well, do you have to go... Just have a good feel lower down. Let lower. the audience tell you. Do you not think that's good? I think that's good. Higher. No, higher. That's... Lower. Lower. Right. Higher. Well, that's going to come off. Lower. 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 Higher. Well, I'm going here. Oh, it's going to yeah. fall. It's going to fall, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, let's have a good one to me. <laughs> I think he might get away. Let's make it a mistake. 
Sam, right, that's it. Again. <laughs> uh, when I come to edit this, I'll win. Uh, we'll change the sound effects around, it'll be fine. Sam Kelly, let's have a little bit of a ditty from you, my friend. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of a uh. Wow. Uh, um, is this actually happening? Just. Uh... <laughs> It's just one of those moments where you... Anyway. Uh, yeah, join in on the chorus. That'd be lovely. You sing me an F. F, dude. F, no. You got a piano there? No. Oh. Yeah, brilliant, right. <laughs> we'll get it from that. We played about four notes there. Boom, 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 boom. Right. This is a song called A Close Shave by the brilliant Andy Irvine. Come gather round your diggers all who work the goldfields rare. It's of a trick was played on me and it's caused me to despair. I went to town the other day, my precious gold to trade. And there I met a pretty maid who did my heart betray. Her lips are red as roses, her eyes are deep sky blue. Her hair is yellow as a gold she stole from me and you. That's the chorus. Well, not all of that, obviously, just a laugh. Bit. We went into a public house and there we did imbibe Both whiskey and some porter and dreadful stuff besides And then she asked me up to bed, to which I did agree But truth be told, I fell asleep straight when I hit the sheets And her lips were red as roses, her eyes a deep sky blue Her hair as yellow as a gold she stole from me and you when I awoke next morning, no trousers could I find But scattered all around the room were women's clothes so fine My jacket, shoes and gold was gone and all that's left behind Was a women's dress, a yellow wig and a shaving kit, not mine <laughs> And her lips are red as roses, her eyes are deep sky blue Her hair is yellow as a gold she stole from me and you Wow, that is lovely. And a few more verses, yeah. Why did she need a wig? Why did she need to shave? Suddenly it hit me in a fit of blinding rage My pretty maid's a man, I cried, thanks me, I fell asleep For I'd rather lose a bag of gold than wake up with that creep And her lips were red as roses, her eyes a deep sky blue Her hair as yellow as a gold she stole from me and you to venture in the street again, I cautiously inclined I had a shave, put on the wig and wore the dress so fine And as I walked along the quay, a digger gave a wink So I thought of all the gold he had and I offered him a drink Oh, her lips were red as roses, her eyes a deep sky blue Her hair is yellow as a gold she stole from me and you now you may think it's sinful, or you may think it bold To take advantage of the lads to struggle for the gold It's easy putting on a dress and drinking whiskey neat But leave your shaving kit behind when they are fast asleep Oh, her lips are red as roses, her eyes are deep sky blue Her hair is yellow as a gold she stole from me and you Yes, her lips are red as roses, her eyes are deep sky blue Her hair is yellow as a gold she stole from me and you. And um, Sam, Sam told me that he only sings songs about things that he can identify with. Isn't that right, Sam? Well, you've had your fun in the limelight, now do the tidying up. There you go. Um, Okay, so uh, we've only got five minutes left, which is uh, just enough time to uh, just enough time to do uh, one song all together, I think. But I don't think we've run this through with John, have we, John? No, no. <laughs> so, but well, we thought what key? Well, we thought we might do like a, a song from Summit's Brewing, like all from Grog. 
Hey. Now, what key do you do that in normally? We, we normally chop? do that in C sharp. But, uh, oh, right. Thanks. <laughs> I haven't got that one with me. Uh, I am actually joking. Um, my mother can do it in C. Is that all right? Oh, yes. Yeah, so we you... normally do it in C. Oh, is that C all right for you, John? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, we'll do that. We'll do it in C. Do you want to do it on the accordion and I do the piano, or how do you want to do it? Why don't you play the piano? Yeah, and then I'll do the... Yeah, OK, right. And then we'll... Now, David, just watch yourself, because I've been... I've moved myself. OK. Uh, let me move... Yeah, 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 well, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, I'll get a good applause this time, won't I? Right. Coming round. Do you feel that spark there, Heidi? See you later, Heidi. No hooli eagle. Here we go. Can you just let the audience know that we have subverted? Oh yes, this is a, a traditional sailor's drinking song called All For Me Grog and the chorus and verse verse are traditional and then the following verses, uh, me and Belinda have subverted the lyrics. So have a listen. We'd love you to sing along. Uh, here we go, All For Me Grog. <laughs> <laughs> Such sensitive playing. Beautiful. Come on then David. Come on, let's go. Wrinkled and dried like a raisin No memories retained Me liver's much the same And me booze breath would fell the tallest yeah. in the oh, All for me grog, me jolly jolly grog All for me beer and tobacco Oh, I spent all me tin on the lasses drinking gin And across the western ocean I was wander Now we're gonna do a little At least something went well, the herbal tea of the week bit. The rest of it was all right, I suppose. But <laughs> Belinda and Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, John Spice and you. Sam Kelly! David Eagle! <laughs> and the 
Well, thank you very much to all of our guests, so Julian T. Dodd, Sam Kelly, John Spires, to the Folk East Festival for inviting us to do the podcast. So because we haven't been around since the end of 2015, we've got so many clips that we need to wade through. So we'll be releasing podcasts regularly, which will probably take us up until the end of the year. We've got clips from our three weeks in Australia in March, clips from our UK tour in April, clips from the spring and summer festivals that we've done all around the United Kingdom, and clips from our trip to Canada as well. So loads of stuff. So we should be back very soon, in the next week or two, with a next Jungans podcast, which doesn't consist of any of those things that I've just talked about. We will be back in a week or two with the Jungans in the Mix, and regular podcast listeners will be aware of the Jungans in the Mix, where folk music and pop music collide. That's what we're bringing you on our next podcast coming up in the next week or so. But if you're missing the sound of my voice, don't worry about it, because you can hear me every single day on David's Daily Digital Dollop. DavidEagle.co.uk also has a podcast on iTunes and other podcast providers as well. Anyway, you can listen to that if you want, but we will be back with the Jungans podcast in the next few days. Until then, thank you for listening to this one. Goodbye.